Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and I'm very excited to create this video to show you how we bridge the gap between the offline and online world. Uh, basically in this video we're going to show, uh, we're going to track every time someone calls our phone number, we're going to input into Google Analytics the duration of the call. So uh, this is just a very simple example so you can understand what's going on and then you can build it upon that. Very, very cool thing and we'll, let's say, dive into it pretty quickly. So. Um, the first thing we want to do actually is uh, buy a uh, phone number with a Twilio. So Twilio is, is a company, really nice company, that they offer cool services of you buying a phone number and actually at being able to add all kinds of programmatic uh, um, uh, add-ons to it. So what we basically did is that we purchase a phone number and that, that you know, uh, um, enables us to kind of add more programming to then place on Google Analytics. So um, what you do is you just go to twilio.com and, and register. It's not our company, nothing to do with us, but we like them. We've recommended it to clients and we use this phone number ourselves. If you notice, 323 is actually our website, Astrolab Inc.'s uh, main phone number, and then we have other phone numbers as well. So basically, uh, let's start, okay? So after you register with Twilio or you have already registered and you have a phone number, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the phone number desired, okay? And then you're going to go to the section right here under voice request. So anytime there's a voice request, basically someone recall, uh, someone calls you, you're going to click on optional voice settings and you're going to set this up once, a status callback URL. Basically what that means is anytime a phone call is completed at the end of the, the call it'll go to this URL which is on your web server which we're going to create in a second this file and it's just going to give it some information about the phone call we're going to take that information and throw it to Google Analytics something really really cool so uh, now that we created it, I'm just going to show you how simple the actual file is so event tracking that PHP I'm going to go to our server and this is just a FTP client on our server and I'm going to edit this uh, event tracking.php. So all you really have here are three or four lines right here after the PHP. This is commented out. Um, so what I actually did is I included the date and the time so we can track it in analytics. When was the call initiated? And then this is a field that we're getting, right? We're getting uh, from, and I did a get a, a, a post right here. Uh, we're getting from the Twilio and I just use the actual field call duration. So what you basically want to do is do a very simple thing. After you get the time and the date from the server, and of course you may want, your server might be a different time from your own local time, so you might need to adjust it. But uh, just for this simple example, let's use the server time. Um, and then we got the call duration. So after that, you're going to use um, the latest Google Analytics um, a URL. So if you 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 definitely have to have uh, Google Analytics, the uh, universal. Um, let me go right here. The universal, the latest script right here, and you'll know if you log into you to. Um, let's go here. You'll basically know if you go to uh, analytics, go to admin, and go to tracking info and tracking code. And you'll know it says here this is the Universal Analytics. If you don't have it, and it probably it, it it came out a few months back, or maybe about six months back or so. If you don't have it, you need to update it on your website. Okay, uh, and let's go back here. Okay, so uh, basically what you do is Google Analytics enables us to actually post information, uh, offline information to Analytics with a very very simple manner. So uh, basically. Google Analytics slash collect and then you actually have to insert all these different fields. So TID is basically our um, account number. So if you go here you'll see this is our account right here. Create. This is our account ID unique to our website. Uh, CID this is just a uh, user ID. So right now uh, we, we're not using this but you'll be able to see this stuff in analytics. And then what we do here is we, we want to track an event. Again we said we're doing event tracking. So track an event and the category we called contact. The um, I forget right now what EA is for a second. Um, let's go here. I'm a little blank for a second here. Let's go back and try to remember what this is. 
Okay. Um, so this is the. Let me just go back here. Sorry. Okay. So this is the action. Sorry about that. So the action you can just call it call, and the label is the actual time, and then the value of the label we just called called it call, which is our call duration. So very very simple. So anytime someone calls you, um, at the end of the call it, it'll go to this that we specify and then I'll throw to the universal Google Analytics your information and I'll show you how it looks right so basically if we go to uh, behavior and events and top events or let's say overview you'll be able to see um, again the category call and then the action okay uh, sorry the action call and the label is the actual date and time that we specified if you remember this right date and time and the label, L-E-L, -E -L, so for label is a date and time. And that's it. So now that someone called us, you'll see they called it this day and this time. And you'll see the actual value. So someone they spoke with us for 14 seconds. Someone spoke with us for 5 seconds at this time. And someone spoke with us with 4. These are just tests we did. But it, obviously, you can translate it into minutes and do whatever you want with it. But it, very, very nice. Uh, super cool, and I'll just show you. Uh, we'll do a quick call right here, and I'll show you how it works. Right, so let's take this phone number and see if we can call from um, basically Gmail right here. See if we can make a call and see the live event. Oh, we can't do that because we're actually a recording on Google Hangouts. But basically, um, what you have here is when you'll have a live event. When you create the script, you're just going to go to the real time and events and it should pop up right here. Um, yeah, so so this is you know super exciting. It basically enables us to actually go ahead and um, you know track our phone calls, track the offline world into the online world. So if we're running a pay-per-click account, a pay-per-click campaign, you might want to have different phone numbers for the land, you know, the people who land on your uh, in your pages from pay-per-click or from SEO or uh, stuff like that, or just a general information of how many people call you from the website. Uh, all, of course, try to have a unique website from maybe your store, your physical store, and your online website. So this actually gives you information, and that's basically it. Super simple code, um, works really nice, and um, that's pretty much it. So, uh, if you have any questions about event tracking, about the uh, Twilio phone number, or the connection, or maybe more detailed stuff, I'll be happy to share uh, some more information, answer questions, and in the description of this YouTube video, I'll actually include the uh, Google's um, kind of documentation page for this, so you can add things like page views, not just event tracking, page views, and um, a few other things. So the, the yeah, so you know you'll be able to kind of uh, take a look at it. Super cool, and I'm uh, personally very excited about uh, the connection uh, with offline and online, not just for analytics, but just technology and, and just in general. Super cool. Very happy, and uh, thank you for listening to this video. Really appreciate it.